Hello, I'm Cesare Casadei. I play for Leicester City on loan from Chelsea. Tell us the first time you went inside San Siro. It was two years ago. I went in the bench with the first team for my first time with, uh, with Inter Milan. It was a really great experience for me. What makes that stadium so special? Uh, everything, the atmosphere, the fans and everything is a very, as you said, special stadium. Uh, I think it's not, it's not easy to play there because you have a lot of pressures and it's very big as well. It's probably the dream of every, every kid that starts playing football to play in San Siro. Which Inter Milan players inspired you growing up? Barella, which was one of the uh, greatest players at the moment in Inter Milan. And I'm a midfielder and he is a midfielder, so I used to uh, see him playing and try to take something from him. Did he ever give you any good advice? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes, but I think the most of the time you have to learn just watching them. Not in the pitch, they can talk to you, you can speak with them, but uh, the most of the time you have to take something, something in the pitch, you know, just watching them and just try to improve. What was it like representing Italy at the Under-20s World Cup and finishing as the top scorer and best player? It was amazing, it was amazing to play for uh, your national team is always an unbelievable feeling to achieve that uh, the best player and then but first it was a very great experience that I will keep with me for all my life. Do you talk to the Italians playing in England, Wilfred Nonto? Yeah, he's my friend, he's my friend. We grew up together in Inter Milan and I talked to him after the game against Leeds and yeah, we have a very good relationship we are really good friends. How easy of a decision was it to join Chelsea? Uh, it was easy, it was easy because, you know, Chelsea is a very big team, it's a massive club and when I had the opportunity, I, I, didn't, I didn't wait. I just wanted to go as soon as possible. What were your first impressions of England? Very rainy. Very <laughs> no, it's a very, it's a good country. I, I like England, I like to live here. It's different from Italy, but you know, uh, you need to get used to the to the country and then in football as well because it's different. Here there is more intensity, the 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 play is quicker, and you have to think about what to do before, and is more there is more physicality as well. Which Chelsea players? made you feel at home? I think I've been lucky because now in uh, the Chelsea squad there are a lot of young players so uh, I built a good relationship with uh, a lot of players there because we are like uh, 20, 21, 22, someone 23 but uh, so a lot of players I have a good relationship with almost everyone. Did Maurizio Pochettino give you any advice before joining Leicester? He did because I, I did the pre-season with him in, uh, in Chelsea. Uh, it was a great experience, he's a really good coach and I took, I took some really good uh, advices from him and in, in those two, three months, no, less than three months, two months that I stayed with him, I, I improved myself as well. What's the best thing about him as a manager? He's got a lot of passion and um, he, he gave that passion to the team and I, I felt it, I felt that passion. Describe the championship in one word. Intense. Toughest player you've faced in the championship? Probably against Leeds, the, the midfielder Camara, he was very good. What do you think of English football fans? They have a lot of passion as well. and. I like it. I like the crowd in England when they start shouting for something. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I enjoy it. Who's made you feel at home at Leicester? The manager, Enzo, because I spoke with him before anyone. What's Enzo like as a manager? He knows what he's doing and he's got a plan, an idea, and he works every day to make us improve. Tell us about your match-winning goal against Cardiff. I couldn't have asked more to, for, for, my, for my debut, to be honest, and it was a really great feeling. Yeah. 
Where does that rank in your career, that moment? Probably in the top, yeah, because I haven't scored a lot of pro professional goals yet, so that was my second probably. What have you learned the most this season so far? The winner mentality, uh, because to, to keep going every day, you have to want more every time. How much can this Leicester team achieve? We can achieve everything. We, we fight to win every game and obviously it's not possible to win every game but uh, the most of the game uh, we managed to do it and we are a really good team and I think we can achieve a lot of things uh, this year. Before you joined Leicester, how much did you know about Jamie Vardy? Uh, I knew him as a player, I didn't know him as a, as a person but it shows to everyone, to the young player uh, that we, you, we, have to, we have to learn every day, we have to improve every day and so even for his behaviours, he's a, he's a legend. What advice would you give to any young academy player right now? Probably to, to, enjoy, to enjoy the game uh, because that's what we are talking about is a game and obviously you can have passion and everything but you, you still have to, to remember that you have to enjoy it because when you don't enjoy it, you will never get what you want to, to get, you know. What's the best advice you've ever received? Tough question. Is there anything a manager or a family friend has said? Any advice you live by? Uh, yeah, probably to stay humble and keep working every day. How happy are you with your EAFC card? No, I'm not happy, not happy at all. I still have to, to improve a lot. Which bit in particular do you think could improve? Um, probably shooting 65. I can do better than that. <laughs> so your overall rating is 66. In a year's time, where would you like that to be? Oof, tough question, I don't know. It, is, it, de it depends on me, so we will see, we will see.